Hello, this is Mike Uhas with Case IH. I'd like to talk a little bit about auto four-wheel drive and auto diff lock. They're located on the armrest pad towards the top. And four-wheel drive auto, if I go ahead and I push four-wheel drive auto, okay, I have the four-wheel drive symbol, the green symbol. When I go to steer the steering wheel, to a certain point, it starts blinking and it will kick out. When I steer the steering wheel back, four-wheel drive automatically re-engages. So what about diff lock, auto diff lock? How does that help us? Well, if I engage auto diff lock, okay, now I've got two symbols. I got the diff lock symbol and I have the four-wheel drive symbol. So when I start to steer the steering wheel, you're going to see the diff lock start blinking. Okay, four-wheel drive has not kicked out yet. A little bit more, there's four wheel drive, it just kicked out. So now when I bring the steering wheel back a little bit, okay, four wheel drive's in, diff lock is not, now diff lock is engaged. The benefits to this, is, especially for diff lock, is that I don't have to re-engage the diff lock every time that I want it. Anytime I know my steering wheel is straight, I have diff lock engaged. Now four wheel drive, uh, if it's in a muddy situation, I typically would actually run four-wheel drive full-time in muddy situations because I do not want the four-wheel drive to kick out. But I may want my diff lock when my steering wheels are straight. And the other way, if I go ahead and I engage the full-time diff lock, now this is full-time diff lock. So that's just a little bit on auto four-wheel drive and auto diff lock.